Good day everyone! Welcome back to an exciting and fun-filled learning and our subject, Oral Communication and Context. Before anything else, let's have a short recall, a short recap of our previous discussion about communication. We said that communication is the process of exchanging ideas and information. Basically, it's a two-way process. It's a give and take relationship. If someone is speaking, definitely someone is listening or vice versa. We also tackled about the different models of communication, namely the linear model of communication, the interactive model of communication, and the transactional model of communication. So let's try to refresh our minds of the different models of communication before you answer the offline activities later. First, we have the linear communication. The best example of linear communication is the Shannon Weaver model. So the proponents of this model are Claude Shannon and Warren Weaver. Now, according to this, uh, two proponents, linear communication is just a one-way process wherein the sender gives its message to the receiver. The receiver doesn't give any feedback or response to the sender, right? Same with the other kinds of communication, noise is still present during the communication process. Another example of model of communication is what we call the interactive communication, the SRAM model. The proponent of this SRAM model is Wilbur SRAM. Now, according to Wilbur SRAM, the communication is interactive, meaning to say, the sender gives his message to the receiver. And then the receiver decodes the message and then he will also become a sender because he will now send the message to the previous sender. So the sender is also a receiver and the receiver is also a sender. So there is a two-way process. There is what we call the feedback or the response though the noise is still present on the communication process the field of experience of both sender or and the receiver is present in this type of communication model and then last we have what we call the transactional model of communication now transactional model shows a circular process of interaction between the persons involved in the communication with each one actively participating and sharing ideas with one another. They are communicators actively exchanging information and reaction. So definitely there is a continuous process, a continuous flow of communication in this model. Now, in this diagram, again, the sender and the receiver, okay? The sender and then the receiver again, we have the message and the channel of feedback. So there is an interaction, a wide interaction between the sender and the receiver. So a lot of feedback, a lot of responses are happening in this type of communication. So once again, these are our models of communication, the linear communication, the best example is the Shannon Weaver model, the interactive, which is the SRAM model is the best example, and the transactional model of communication. So now, I think you are ready for our offline activities about communication models. Now listen carefully for the instructions. Letter A, the first activity is entitled, Fill Me. Now what are you going to do? Read the given situations and fill in the grid or the blanks below by identifying the elements of communication. Let's have the first scenario, the first scene. AJ instructs his little sister to water the plants in their garden. However, he did not notice that his sister was wearing headphones when he gave instructions. He learned too late that his sister did not what or did not do what he told her. So, who is the source? What is the message? Who is the receiver? And what is the barrier if there is any? The second situation is, Adeline bought a can of milk from the nearby store. As it was handed to her, she checked its expiration date. She found out that the product is already expired and reported it into the storekeeper. Now, who is the source? What is the message? 
who is the receiver, and what is the feedback, if there is any feedback. The last scenario for the first activity, Emma's mother sent her a ring and requested for a video call. The poor internet connection did not make it possible. They resorted to just texting each other. So who is the sender? What is the channel being used? Who is the receiver? And what is the barrier? Next, we have the second offline activity. This is entitled Respond. Instruction is, write a response to each of the following dialogue prompts to complete the communication process. Let's have the dialogue. The first one. According to Trisha, Hey, can't you see that grandma crossing the street? She might be hit by the speeding vehicles. What could be your response? Next situation. According to Len, Hey Ara, are you going to join the Bible study this afternoon? Ara, I will ask permission from my parents because it may end late. What could be your response? In the last scene, you are comfortably seated on bus full of passengers for a long drive. Before it departs, a pregnant woman persuades the driver to count her even if she'll be standing the whole trip. According to the driver, Ma'am, there is no vacancy anymore. According to the pregnant woman, Please sir, I'm already tired from the day's work and I'd like to go home to take a rest. What would be your response? Now, after finishing all the activities, you are going to upload your outputs or your answers in the Google Drive. So I will be posting and sending the Google Drive or the link of the Google Drive in our respective GCs. Don't forget to write your name and your section using this format. Surname first, followed by your first name and your middle initial. Okay? Now, do you have any questions? Please feel free to ask in RGC or Google Classroom if you have any questions or any clarifications regarding your offline activities for this week. So with that, stay well, stay safe, happy learning guys, and God bless us all.